My name is Sigi and in this tutorial I'll describe some of the basic functionality of the VideoPipe application. Currently we have it open in front of us and the workbench is empty, so we can add some new modules by pressing the plus button down here. The Add Module dialog shows us all of the different kinds of modules we can add. We can add source modules that um, provide signals into our application, things like video or static images or uh, signals over the network, etc. We have sync modules that give us a way to output signals out of the application. So we can stream stuff over the network, we can save things into movies, all of that good stuff. And then effect modules are basically video filters or signal filters, and the parameter modules provide parameters for all of the above. And then there's a few different kinds of modules that I can describe in future tutorials. Right now we'll just add a movie source as an example, and I've selected uh, a movie called I Am Iron Man. I'm going to tell it to loop. So right now I have a module in my workspace, and I can see that some stuff is going on in the module. It gives me a preview of, of, of what it's doing. If I move the mouse over, I get more information, like the size of the image and the color model, etc. I can also see that there are small colored boxes on the left side of the module and the right side of the module. The left side contains all of the inputs to the module, and the right-hand side contains all of the outputs. Currently, we just have one input, and it's a seek input. It, it is a scalar signal, means that it takes a, a, a real valued number, and it's optional, so that we don't really need it. The module is active even without it. Um, I can add right now, just to try it out, I can add a scalar provider that I'm going to have a one-dimensional scalar provider going from the value 0 to the value 1. And this scalar provider is a different module. It has a slider that I can move between the values of 0 and 1 because that's what I specified. It has an output signal that is a scalar signal, um, which is colored red because it's the same as the input to the movie source. So now, if I click the scalar signal and I drag out of it, I get this air wire that I can drop onto the input to the movie source, and now my movie source connected is controlled by this scalar. So now I can seek into the movie by using the scalar. Um, I can unconnect modules by just clicking on the connected input. So now it's unconnected, and then I can move modules around by dragging a selection box over them, and then moving my mouse and clicking to commit now I want to throw the scalar provider away. I basically select it, drag it into the trash can. Uh, I could add another module here, for example, a thresholding effect module. And this one comes with a couple of default options. So it's colored red right now because not all of its inputs are connected, so we can see that the video signal isn't connected. Now I'll just connect the video signal from the movie source, uh, making it fully connected. So now we can see the thresholded value in this preview pane. Um, it has a scalar signal that sets the thresholding value, and then it has a string signal that selects the uh, kind of thresholding that I want to do. So we can see in the lower left corner that we can observe the average processing times of the different modules. The thresholding doesn't take very long, 0.6 milliseconds um, on average, but the movie source takes a couple of milliseconds to load every frame. So this can be useful when we start debugging our uh, configuration and seeing where most of our time is spent. Now if we like this configuration we might want to save it. So I can save this particular configuration into something called a file called test.pipe. So right now it successfully saved it for me. So if I throw away all of these modules I should be able to load it right back in like this. So great. Um, this describes some of the basic functionality of the video pipe and, and um, stay posted um, with future tutorials to show some of the more advanced features. Thank you.